welcome to this week's episode of Mortgage Q&A with AJ. Today, we will be talking about all the different kinds of loans. Take it away, AJ. All right. So there are, I mean, there's so much to go into on this, right? So let's start with loan limits, okay? Okay. The conventional loan limit for every state, every county uh -huh. is 548250 Okay, so that's the same everywhere. Everywhere. That is across the, the board. That's one thing we can count on. That's one thing we can't count on. Okay. But now this is the tricky part. Every county has a different, so there's regular conventional loan limits, mm -hmm. then there's high balance mm -hmm. loan limits, people call them, or people call, like they say high balance, uh, I haven't really heard them called anything else, and then you have jumbo, right? So you have three categories that you're that you're in, mm -hmm. um, and it's all about <clears throat> it's about your your loan limit and then what the pricing is. What it means most for you is so conventional pricing mm -hmm. is the best pricing. Okay. Then you have high balance pricing, which is your next tier, which the rate's a little bit higher. Why would you do that? And it's because your loan amount, and you have no like say you want to buy a million dollar property. Right. And then you have jumbo. Let's say you're buying a million dollar property, all you have is 20% down. But those people already have the money, right? <laughs> <laughs> now your loan amount's 800,000. Okay. Now you're over your county loan limit in some areas. Yep, okay. Right? And so you're stuck to jumbo pricing. Um, now, we are very competitive on the jumbo pricing, but sometimes we're not. And again, in a situation where you're working with a loan officer that's being honest, he's not gonna stick you with a higher interest rate, he's gonna refer you to somebody that can help you the best way possible okay. because you want to lend, you want to borrow money at the cheapest rate possible and what right. you deserve, right? right? If you're an 800 credit score, you have reserves and you have all this, mm -hmm. you can probably go to a credit union or your bank and they're going to lend you the money at a cheaper rate mm -hmm. than a broker would. Now, okay. that's not always necessary. Like there are some very competitive brokers that are out there pricing jumbo loans right now and they're willing to do the loan and, and they're happy to help you and give you some good pricing. But again, that's back to the shopping and figuring out who has the best pricing for you on that specific day, doing all the steps that we talked about before. I see. Besides loan limits, mm -hmm. right? Now there's types of loans, right? We have 10 year fixed loans, we have 15 year fixed loans, yep. 20 year and 30 year. Okay, more familiar with this. Right, and that's just the amortization based off of how long you're borrowing the money and that, that makes yep. what, you have your rate and your term, and the term is what makes up what your payment is monthly mm -hmm. with your rate, right? Okay. Um, one great thing that we that we do, and a lot of brokers are doing this, uh, one of our major companies, United Wholesale Mortgage, um, they have an exact term. So I could literally, if someone was calling me for a refinance, mm -hmm. say they only owe 28 years left on their mortgage, mm -hmm. I can put them in a 28 year mortgage. So they just introduced that, which I love. It's a very, very good loan. Um, and it helps, it makes people feel like I didn't start back over, right. right? There are, like we talked about before in other episodes, there is a time that you would start over, right? right? right, right. But there is a time where you're going, no, I want to pay this thing down. I want to feel accomplished. Mm -hmm. Um, so did this 20, not so, exist before? It did, not, it, it did not exist before. This, oh, is, wow. this is something that rolled out within the last few years. And a lot of our clients are happy with it. I mean, it, 26, 19, I can do the Is exact, everyone doing it now or are you guys? Not everyone. It's, I would say probably about 20%, maybe 10% of my clients use it. Because wow. some people go, you know what, if you're giving me the same rate, I'd rather have the payment right. because they know they're leaving in five to seven years. But again, tailoring a loan exactly to fit your needs. So this took that 10% of people that are interested in that and making them feel positive about a refinance. That's great. And a reason to do it. So that works perfect for them. Yeah. So um, as we talked about 15, 20, 30 years, those are fixed rates, right? Yes, that yes. means your loan does not adjust. There are no prepayment penalties. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a loan, you should not get a prepayment penalty also. Okay. <laughs> right, what a prepayment penalty is, is it's that you've paid your loan off faster uh -huh. and they, they charge you for that. Oh, does that exist? They do exist with some companies, but you should. You need they, to check that. You should beforehand. check, but you should not have one. I mean, okay, is that 99 rare? Ninety-nine point nine. They used to have them all the time. Probably why in two thousand eight the crash happened. There were a lot of things that went on, but now now we're not we're not giving those out. Okay, so, but so you should still. You should not. You should not have one. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Um, and then there are ARMS, right? Uh, ARMS, A-R-M, Adjustable Rate Mortgage. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge 
fan of the fixed mortgage because it doesn't adjust. Mm -hmm. But there are specific times where you could go in and you can use an adjustable rate mortgage that makes sense for you. Sounds if, like a gamble. So with ARMS, you, you know, you're looking at a specific term, right? Mm -hmm. It's so if you're thinking to yourself, I'm only going to live in this house for four years, three years. Um, I would, my opinion is what the arm you want to give yourself a couple more years, just in case something by chance, something happens. Right. Right. So if you're thinking three years, you do a five year arm. Mm -hmm. If you, if you're thinking five years, you do a seven. And if you're thinking seven, you do a 10. So it's somebody that like right. has to really know what's going on in the it's future. Very, very specific because the, the <laughs> like we are moving in five years. Correct. Cause the fear is, is, and if you don't, now your rate can adjust, right? Right, and it's open. It's open to Which adjusting. Could be a good or a bad thing. Correct, and mm -hmm. and that's that's the fear. So, and also you also need to look at the timelines. Like it, back in the day, an arm was a much lower interest rate, so it's mm -hmm. going to save you a lot of money. It's right. worth it. But if I'm giving you a two point five on a seven year arm, but I'm giving you a two point seven five on a thirty year fix, because rates I are so good right now. I hope right? you're choosing the thirty year fix. Right. You know, the okay. quarter percent's worth the. It, it's. You don't lose any sleep on a 30 year fix, right? It's fixed in, it's locked, and it's good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? um, and then the other two types, now there's also, we've talked about this a lot today, right? We're talking about FHA. <laughs> you keep joking about it, it's the Federal Housing <laughs> Authority. And um, it, it, I, love F F I love FHA loans. And the reason why I love them is the same reason I love the down payment assistance program. Mm -hmm. It puts people in homes that didn't think that they could get one. Okay. Um, you get a lot of lenders that don't use it, that don't work with it. Why? A lot of banks don't do it. Um, I, because it's, it's normally lower credit scores. If, if someone's a 740 credit score, mm -hmm. I'm not giving them an FHA loan. Okay. But if someone's a 620 credit score, but you know, life happens, right? Yeah. Five years ago, someone lost their job. They haven't been paying their credit cards on time mm -hmm. and their credit score hasn't recovered from it. Right. Well, why are we to judge them that they can't buy a house? If they've yeah. shown over a time period that they make the money, they can pay it back. It's just, I, I, I've been in this business for 20 years and I still don't understand credit scores. So this scores. is a good option for people whose credit scores may have been affected over the years. Correct. So, and you can put three and a half percent down. Mm -hmm. um, the interest rate is really good, but remember there's private mortgage insurance that right. stays on forever. Mm -hmm. um, but again, if you're renting for $2,000 and I give you an FHA loan with a 2.375 interest rate yeah. with higher mortgage insurance than conventional, mm -hmm. but if your rate is cheaper than... Your what rent you're paying in rent. What, what, what's the problem? Yep. And again, you can put low money down, three and a half percent. What it all comes down to is doing the math that's specific to your situation. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so uh, again, like I said, I'm a huge fan of it. I love helping people that didn't think that they could buy because their credit score. I mean, if you go online and you type in, "I have a 620 credit score, can I buy?" You're going to see so many things that say no. There's no so much shame you. around so having a bad credit exactly. score. Exactly. It's a really, it's like a sensitive topic. And so, right. like when you find out you have a good one, you're like, yes, right. you know. And, and, it's, and it's sad because there's some people that have no credit cards, they have no car loan. Mm -hmm. I pull their credit, their 660 credit score, but then I have some people that have a bunch of debt. And and right. and they have a seven eighty credit score. Like, are we're saying we want people to be debt free? We're saying all these things. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's just it's about fitting for what you can do. Um, and it doesn't then, necessarily say that much about the person's character and how 100%. they're managing their finances. Exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, and um, you know, I do. We do a lot of FHA loans. Mm -hmm. um, and and what ends up happening is is their credit score. Because they got, now they have the mortgage, they're paying their mortgage on time, their mm -hmm. credit score goes up. Now we refinance them into conventional because they have the 20% equity, and now we get rid of that mortgage insurance, which lowers their payment. Wow, this is a great opportunity for exactly. them. Exactly, exactly. And it's just, like I said, it, it, with all of this, I feel like everything we keep going back to is you got to get with somebody that you trust. Yep. You got to get with an expert, somebody that, that's going to stay in the know, right? Like mm -hmm. there's so many loan officers in our industry that... They do it part time. They right. think that they can do this part time. They go to their job, then they come do this, and they think that they're going to read Google a little bit and catch it. It's just not possible. Right. Like, this is a twenty four seven job, taking all the risk and and knowing that I can make people's lives better and and, and share with them uh, everything that I'm learning. Yeah, because there's so many options to explore, which is 
where I feel like we messed up when we were buying a house is we just did not explore all of the options. We had a preconceived notion as to what the right thing to do was. Right. And now just, I've learned with you, like right. maybe we didn't need to put down the 20%, you know? <laughs> I wish you could get that money back. Huh? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> That's it on another great episode of Mortgage Q&A with AJ. We hope to see you next week. Bye.